and listen carefully. Now, it's time to analyze the business side of this because people are asking, is this thing possible? It's time to analyze the business uh, uh, side of this, all right? So, is the sand business, and when I say sand, I'm including aragonite. Remember, sand and aragonite is uh, the same thing, all right? So, well, aragonite is a type of sand. Is the, the, the sand business worth it? Can money be made? But we're gonna analyze that for, for a second so that we know how we're gonna change this country. We use 50 gigatons of sand every year. It's what the world uses every single year. And that is only what is recorded. A vast, they believe that the vast majority of sand is actually, <laughs> is, not record, is not accounted for because of the sand wars and the sand mafia that much of the sand is smuggled out many countries have slowed down on allowing sand to be dredged because they are running out of their sand if the world is running out of water and we are the only country and this is the only place that has water how could that water not be valuable let's think for a minute after water the most needed and demanded thing is sand and so if the world is running out of that how could it not be valuable but that's an easy question to answer 51 countries in the world are reclaiming sea to create land on a major level. 51 countries are adding to their landmass by dumping sand. So you remember what Dubai did by adding to their landmass where they, they, they created these artificial islands? There are 51 countries in the world heavily engaged in that and they are in desperate need of sand. They can't get enough of it because they use sand to do so. And they can't use the sand that's in the desert. So Dubai even had to import sand even though they are a desert. They had to import sand. They needed the sand desperately. And so this is in heavy demand. China alone increased their last land mass by 4,600 square miles. 4,600 square miles. China did. Can you imagine that? Do you know what 4,600 square miles is? Let me put that in perspective for you. The whole entire island of Abaco is only 600 square miles. The whole entire island. The whole entire New Providence is only 147 uh, square miles. The whole of Andres is about 4,000 square miles. And so you could take Andres, Grand Bahama, New Providence, maybe Freeport, put them together, and that is what China has done to expand to their landmass. Pay close attention. That sand had to come from somewhere and someone benefited from that. Some country made money from that while we were asleep. Singapore imported 59 million tons of, of sand from Malaysia alone. Malaysia has now banned them from importing sand. And so Malaysia actually reported that they believe that Singapore actually imported 133 million tons of sand. While uh, Singapore admitted to only importing 3 million, but much of it was smuggled in. Can you imagine that? And Singapore paid up to $190 per ton. $190 per ton. Remember people telling you that, oh, it's not worth anything. You can only get a certain amount per ton for it. Singapore alone, and this is sand that does not have to be processed. They just took it and dumped it in order to increase their landmass because they're a small island. $190 per ton. Countries all around them have banned them from importing. They want to build another 20 square miles of landmass. They need to get it from somewhere. We have what they need. They need a lot of sand in order to do that. A lot of sand. The Netherlands built 2,700 square miles of extra landmass by importing sand. Korea did 600 square miles. So this thing is in major demand. We have the customers, y'all. We have the customers. It is very easy to understand. So uh, let's say uh, you, you do this math quickly. Let's say that Singapore uh, imported 59 million tons of sand and they paid $190 per ton. That is $11.2 billion. $11.2 billion dollars you do the math our entire year budget is 2.5 billion dollars our entire country's debt over all of its existence is 10 billion dollars that covers your entire debt and covers some of your budget for the whole year and no one has to pay a dollar in taxes that one transaction amazing from one country and so 
other areas where we are able to get our income from our our natural resource we call sand is fracking. The fracking industry is huge. This is a new way that they dig for oil. Fracking is how is how they dig horizontally for oil instead of going directly down. And so this is how they can get other oil reserves that they couldn't get by digging holes in, in, in the earth uh, simultaneously. And so the fracking industry is huge. Brazil is saying that they, they need 87 million tons of sand. <laughs> 87 million tons. At $10 a ton, that is $870 million by itself from one industry and one country. In Texas, in the Shale Basin, they do 115 million tons of sand for fracking. At $10, do the mark. Not even $100 not even a thousand dollars at ten dollars per ton do the math that's a billion dollars jesus do the math canada is also another major fracking customer that we can possibly get for our sand the middle east is now into fracking and they can't use their sand for it our sand is more perfect of course for fracking there's other sand that's better than ours just for fracking because it is more hard but our sand is, is doable for fracking and the Middle East needs this y'all the Middle East needs this and so for person who tell you that this is not possible we're giving you the facts today there's also the glass industry the steel industry they use they use millions and millions and millions of tons billions of tons of sand the construction industry has a, is enormous search for sand the silica industry and countries have run out of sand. Many have stopped export, but guess who has it? You have it. So now let's talk about the Bahamas supply of sand. The Bahamas has its very own uh, supply of sand. According to Alison Myers, you saw it in, one, in our second documentary, Kelsian, uh, Alison Myers from Kelsian, she says that the Bahamas has 100 billion tons of renewable aragonite. That's just aragonite. That's not a whole, that's not the sand. That's just aragonite. We have more sand than that. But that's aragonite. 100 billion tons of aragonite alone, which is renewable. That is amazing. The previous minister of, of environment, Earl DeVoe, said that we could mine 5 billion uh, tons of sand per year without adversely affecting the environment. Five billion tons. We have made a determination that we're not going to mine that much. We are looking to mine one billion tons of sand a year. We have more than enough customers who want this sand. And so we are going to mine one billion tons of sand slash aragonite every single year. We uh, spoke to a person from the Bahamas uh, Natural Resources Foundation, uh, particularly uh, Mr. Prescott Smith, and we asked him to give us an idea of some areas that we could mine that would not adversely affect the environment, where it would be safe to mine. And so he identified some areas that would be safe to mine. So the first one that he identified is actually near to the tongue of the ocean, just west of Andrus. And this area, um, uh, there is nothing around it. And it would be easy to mine one billion tons of sand from there alone without even feeling it, without even it being noticeable from that area alone. He gave us a few other areas, one just south of, of, of Elutra, uh, where he said the defense war ship used to sail across it, but now so much sand has accumulated there that you can't run the ships across it anymore because the sand is now coming out of the sea. That is how much sand we have in this country, my fellow Bahamians. And so he identified that area and he identified another area just north of Andres where we could also take some sand. Any one of these areas can do it, particularly uh, uh, just south of, of Elutra and particularly uh, near the tongue of the ocean, uh, west of Andres, where he identified that it would be safe to do that and we would not feel it at all. And so we have the supply that the people, that countries need. We have the supply.